Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey guys. <laughs> so, uh, the first thing we're going to do today is um, I wanted to go through here and kind of show you my order. Uh, when I was doing those collages, those fabric collages, um, just about four or five videos back, I put on these really fluffy flowers from Nora. Hi, Nora. Hi, Nora. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, I want to say hi to Darcy, right? Darcy did the um, paper towel yo-yos. No, it wasn't Darcy. Oh. oh, yeah, it was. Sorry. The, the Hi, Darcy. Of, Hi, I wanted Darcy. to say your name. So. Sorry that the, I was looking at the, yeah, your name of your, yeah, it is Darcy. It is Darcy. So, I just wanted to say hi to her because I think that's a brilliant idea and it makes me look at my um, paper towels in a whole new way. I've been doing some watercoloring in the background. Um, I've been doing some drawing. And uh, with Lindsay um, Wyrick, the frugal crafter, she had her classes on sale. And I got all of them except pastels. And I keep telling myself, Michelle, you don't need to do pastels and get into a new one. And then a new, <laughs> a new craft. And then I thought, well, maybe I do. So I don't know. She's funny though, but I was doing, um, we're doing portraits in there right now. And I drew one and Clint said, Honey, that looks just like you're drawing a um, police sketch. He said, well, why don't you start doing that and I will... Um, that way I can retire and stay home. Yeah, I can retire and stay home. And I was thinking, well, first of all, I would have to have a photo to copy. That's true. And if they have a photo, they probably wouldn't need me to <laughs> do a sketch. <laughs> so I was writing Lindsay and I was telling her that. And she said, oh, I agree. You found your calling, and I'm thinking, I don't think I want to do, um, yeah, portraits, but you never know. I told my sister, I said, sis, I don't think I want to do portraits, but I might do yours because I need practice on ears. <laughs> she has extremely large ears. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I've told you that. She said I was a brat. <laughs> I, na I, I nicknamed her to, uh, Tuluba. Tuluba. Because it stands for big ears. Anyways, let's get started. I'm just jabbering. I haven't been on for a while. Uh, this is Blossom Supplies. Is where I got this from. So, there's a coupon. I don't know if she honors that for everybody or just for the, you know. But, there you go. Uh, I will put that in the, in the description. If I forget, let me know and I will do that. So, I just went on there and ordered a bunch of these flowers. <laughs> I didn't know what they were going to look like, and I actually went to her um, clearance, and because I wanted, like, a huge selection, and, you know, instead of, like, 15 red ones or 15 yellow ones, I just wanted a mix. So, I got these, and I think that she sells them for, like, he baby headbands and stuff, and it says it comes with uh, free stuff in every order, so I think this is a lace or something. But that would be really fun for a uh, belly band, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Might have to go back and visit. She said I'd get 15% off. <laughs> like I need anything else. <laughs> Amen to that. But I didn't really know what sizes I was getting. So I think I could use, you know, all of these. I haven't even opened them yet because I've had my neck ache. And then I got into drawing and stuff. So, but, she yeah. Cook. I'm starving. I'm fading away. She's been oh, drawing all the time. He knows how to cook. Though yesterday I did start doing some stuff and then I'm like, it's kind of too late for me to make what I planned on it. How do you feel about cereal for supper? <laughs> so yeah, I had cereal. He just had chocolate milk, I think. Oh, uh, but yeah. So it's helping me with my diet. Thanks, Lindsay. <laughs> I doubt she's watching, but you never know. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful little rose. But these would be perfect, like, either on those, um, she has, like, a piece of felt on the back, but I think they'd be perfect on those little clusters, which we'll be looking at again today, and, or, like, on the front of a cover. I think that'd be really pretty. Look at these itty-bitty ones. Those are awesome. 
So we're uh, continuing the watercolor journal, but these have been sitting here for a week or so, and I was expecting something else as well to come in, but it hasn't made it here yet. And I thought, you know, I don't know when it's going to get here because she hadn't even mailed it yet. So I thought I would, uh, holy moly, <laughs> I would kind of just show you guys what I got. So see what I mean? Just a big old strip. But this is also some of those green ones that um, like Nora sent me. And I thought, I'll never use that. And those were my favorites. So I think, yeah, I must have got like so many of each one. That is really bright. Oh my God. It hurts my eyes. <laughs> it's jazzy. It's kind of like a fluorescent pink. Pale colors. And two, you know, I might just put one in each one and send out half a mil or something. Who knows? You never know about me. Nobody can figure me out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clint's been trying to for years. <laughs> I gave up. Yeah, he gave up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys. Yeah. But look at that one. That one's beautiful. I'm thinking, you know, the watercolor book. I think that would go so pretty in. And then kind of these uh, pale, it's kind of almost a grayish blue. That's really pretty. Or on the blue side. Turquoise. But she had ones that was like, you know, you can get like 30 for $15 or something like that. I think I spent 30 or something on this whole set. So it's not like a huge major purchase. Well, I didn't feel like it was because I know I'll use them. This, I think, was, I don't remember. You just have to go and look. But, like I said, I just went to the clearance because things were on sale. And, um, you know, it's just like the last one that she had of this set, maybe, or the last one she had of that set or something. So, but perfect for little headbands if you're into making headbands or something. Ooh, that one's kind of pretty. It's like black and blue. That's kind of cool. A couple of teal. And they have like lace and like um, sheer fabric. Hi. Sorry to be an enabler. Not really. That's what um, Lorette <laughs> told me when I was showing them. And I, she said, where did you get those? And I said, well, I got them in Happy Mail, but I just ordered a bunch off. And she's like, thanks, I'm heading over there now. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hi, Laurette. I know you're watching. And then this one, I think, is the largest one. I think I'm going to have to find a container to put all of these in. I think I might have went a little bit overboard. <laughs> oh, you guys. Got to stock up while we can. This is Mother's Day. Yes, sir. Happy Mother's Day. Yes, Happy Mother's Day. Hope you guys are... Having a wonderful Mother's Day. Ooh, I got another one of those. I must have got, um, yeah, I think I got like two of the same one, like uh, clearance or now something. She doesn't make these, right? No, these are, I think they were like a ribbon. These, I don't know if she makes the ones with the stuff on the back. Hmm. But, um, yeah, happy Mother's Day. You know, we don't have kids, but we have fur babies and. Yep. Oh, I just wish they would leave me alone for the day. Just kidding. There's a Jazzy Lynn. <laughs> Jazzy Lynn has decided that she's Mama's baby. So I wake up in the morning and she's got to run in there. And, you know, the first place you go is the bathroom. And she runs in. She jumps on the stool. We keep the lid down. She jumps on that. And then she's like, letting me love on her. And... So it's really sweet. She decided that, and she's starting to be a little lap cat. We do yeah. have to take her in pretty quick and get yeah, her fixed. She's her a, and Bubba. She's just an absolute doll. She's a sweetheart. Just so petite. But man, you know, sometimes you're just like, I just need a break from these guys. And no lie, I do hide in the bathroom sometimes just because I need a break from the cats. Yeah. A lot of <laughs> parents do that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and you'll hear them like hitting the, on the door. So it's just like we have toddlers all the time. They never Gosh. grow up and leave home. <laughs> huh. So yeah, that uh, is our 
but yeah, I'm sure we'll have a wonderful Mother's Day. We always do. Clint will have to make me something special. Oh, speaking of which, I am now down 30.2 pounds. So I was pretty excited about that because on Wednesday I weighed and it showed that I was right at 30 pounds and I was thinking, please hold, you know, please stay there until Friday. <laughs> And it was. It was 30.2. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm wearing some clothes I haven't ever been able to get into. I told my sister a size and I never could wear them. She got them for me for Christmas for a long, a long time ago. And they're comfy right now. And after wearing them for like an hour, they're starting to be baggy. So I do have clothes for a little while. And then my best friend and I are planning when thrift stores and stuff open, maybe we'll go like a girl's day and celebrate. She's losing weight as well. She didn't have as much to lose, but and uh, go thrift store shopping, out for lunch maybe, and shop for clothes. We buy a lot of clothes and stuff at the thrift stores. So we're planning that. Ooh, look at that one. This is slightly different than this one. So both of those would be really pretty in the watercolor journal. So, and then this one. So I'm pretty happy with this. So you guys go check her out. Let me see if I can scooch these. I don't even know where I can put those until I should have left them in there. <laughs> I'm surprised Sophia hasn't chewed up, up the bags because she's a bag girl. She loves to chew on um, bags and stuff. But yeah, go check out Blossom Supplies. So, um, after all that rambling, we're going to get started. Again, we are doing the watercolor journal. Uh, Clint's kind of messing around still with the uh, well, I cover. I just saw all the fabric oh, I bet it's like somewhere. I know. Where did I see it? Oh, okay. So, we're going to start doing papers today. Um, the last two videos were me making the papers. So I am going to use this set for the main components. And then I pulled just a few pieces of interesting papers that I thought would go. Not that, I should have left that in there. And um, look at these. I thought these would be really fun. So I think I got this one from Diane H. Oh, squirrel. Sorry. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Diane H. on YouTube. And it's a uh, vintage paper, I believe. And then my friend Kathy sent me this. Kathy Patterson. Hi, Kathy. And I thought that might go really pretty in here, too. I was just kind of, you know, I went to the craft room and kind of looked around. So I did that. Let's set that aside for now. And then I pulled some other pieces I thought might work. I don't know how, but, you know, maybe just for a... Um, to add to something and then I was looking for like some kind of lace or something that might work and I didn't really have any lace but I do have this table table runner so that might be kind of fun for pocket or something I don't know we're gonna kind of look at it I think it's the right colors I haven't matched it and then I have this one which I think is really pretty this is from my friend Kat which I need to email her so somebody remind me hi Kat love you this is going to be the other, to finish off the oh, okay, the edges. strip. Okay, I think that's good. Sorry, Clint's jabbering, you know how he is. Well, no, it's about the... So, and then these are my, um, thingamajiggies, my, um, clusters and stuff that we did. I did have an empty container, which is a miracle. So, I'm going to set that aside. I just, oops, sorry. I just went ahead and pulled everything because I thought if we have time, we will go ahead and sew. So we are going to pull these papers. I haven't got anything scanned in, so my plan is to use the ones I don't want to scan in. We're going to try to work on getting a new computer pretty soon. Print. Printer, sorry. And we'll see how that works. Okay. So, oh man, did I mess up? No. Okay. 
So I'm going to start chopping this down. Now what we want for this one is 8.5 by 11. Uh, I just pulled this to music. I still have tons of papers and I'm still considering, you know, going in and uh, um, what am I thinking? Kind of bundling them up and selling some in the store. This one, I am, just because I have so many. Well, I have tons of like music paper and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. This one had that rip, so I'm going to go ahead and just make it smaller. I don't mind it being smaller. It makes me happy. Is that 11? Yeah. But uh, Clint got all his fence done, which I think we told you guys in yesterday's video. And then this morning and a little bit yesterday, he was working on... Um, Ink blenders ink blenders and he is he had purchased some cedar so he's going to make a few out of cedar um, but they're going to be first on the list gets first pick because they're going to be a little bit more expensive because he had to pay for them yeah if i get if if i get the wood for free they'll be yeah the they'll be price. yeah the regular price I, even if it's like a walnut or something like that but if I have to purchase wood, then then I'll charge it a little extra. Oh yeah, exactly. So it's just kind of, and if you're on the list, we have I don't know how many people, probably 12 ink blenders or something on the list right now, maybe more. And they'll get first pick if they want to pay the extra and get, you know, a um, more colorful one or not. So. I've had this cedar for like two years or something like that. Yeah, and you bought it a while back. That's I mean, why I bought it, was to make ink blenders. I just never did. And, and he was making one today. He made his first one out of cedar, and I'm like, honey, it's Mother's Day. Can I have that one? He's like, no. I got your flowers. <laughs> what more do you want, woman? But, 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 so, I don't know. They are beautiful. I was It's surprised. really pretty. Yeah, the one that he did is really pretty. So that'll be another thing. If you, we do have a few people that kind of collect <laughs> yeah. the ink blenders. So, um, yeah. And we're still going to have a giveaway as soon as we hit 7,000, which well, really we're getting close. is not that far away. So be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And, um, yeah, I don't need that paper either. <clears throat> and we will, um, have a giveaway. I know we're giving away at least one ink blender. And then we also have a couple of junk journals that we're fixing to be giving away as well. You know, maybe some other stuff. I haven't really decided. We'll see. So... Yeah, the ink blender is a really special one. I've had it. For yeah, quite he's a while. been planning this for a while. So, you know, if you win, it'll be a. And we'll show, you know, the drawing and everything before we give anything away. Oh. So. But yeah, we're getting really close to. Hold on. We're getting really close to 7,000, which is really exciting. It is exciting, you know. Shell has worked very, very hard to get there. Well, I have. And I'm just riding on a coaster. <laughs> well, and I watch people and they're like, oh, I've been doing this for a year and I'm already up to 10,000. I'm like, whatever. Just leave me alone. <laughs> but then it's like, you know, good for them. They exactly. I'm happy for them, but, you know, sometimes you're thinking, uh, why is it taking me so long? Yeah. I know there's all the analytics and all this stuff and I'm not doing them right or something. No, that's the thing. But that's fine. But we are who we are and... Yeah, exactly. So, but we do have people who come in and they're like, oh, I'm, I'm fun. so glad I've found you. I've heard Gail mention you all the time yeah, on her channel sweet. or something. And Okay, guys, so I am using the Stamperia Dream scrapbooking set and what I'm going to do we're going to have two signatures in this journal so we are going to um, sorry I'm going to pick out 
because I like to use these. They're a little bit thicker. We're going to pick out the um, page we want for the front of each of the, um, ooh, that one's pretty, front of each of the signature and then one for each, for the middle of each of the signatures. And that's kind of how Miss Gail does it. actually learned it from her. I love Gail. She's my bestie. And, you know, don't change it if it ain't broke, right? Are I think I really want like a pink in, in the center. So maybe like this. So that one on the outside of that one and a pink on the inside. And this one, I do like Stamperia because they put this, um, they make it so you can use the back sheet and the front sheet. So, um, I just cover that with, uh, coffee dyed paper. This one's pretty too, huh? And this one, I think I want a pink one in the front. And then, most likely, I will go ahead and make a TN cover. So, Clint needs to make me a cover. No, I'm kidding. Uh, a TN because what I'm trying to do is use up my papers so that I don't have a bunch of just, you know, two or three papers just kind of sitting around. So, bless you, baby. Artie. Artie. And I do love that these have the cut aparts and stuff. They're really nice. Ooh, I like that one too, though, huh? But I like to have some nice ones for the TN as well. Probably won't do the TN on camera. It's just, you know, I just thought instead of having like two sheets left, I may as well just do it and not have a huge huge stack of papers left over so but I want to leave enough because I'm gonna have to cut some stuff down so I think we'll call that good as far as our main papers and then I can cut a couple of these down use them for I love that use them for um, like the cover of the TN things like that so okay so again we're just choosing papers very simple process um, I have asked and several people have said that they prefer me to just go ahead and do the process, the whole thing. So again, we're cutting it down to eight and a half by 11 because they like to see, you know, every aspect of it and that's fine with me. I'm going to be doing it anyways, so I may as well share it with you guys. So I think this one's going to be... Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know. <laughs> so I think this is going to be maybe our inside sheet, but that's really pretty. I got this from, I think it was like AS, ACS Supplies. If I remember, I will add her below. She always has a good, she has a monthly sale. I think I'm going to have this so that the rose, I think, kind of like that, yeah. But she has a good monthly sale of, like, this month, I, or, I don't know what it is this month. Last month was, like, mixed media set, or stuff, so this month, I'm not sure. Might be papers again. I need to do some more shopping. All of a sudden, Clint got really quiet. <laughs> I have to celebrate that I lost um, 30 pounds. That's what I tell him. And I never know what to buy myself. So. I didn't climb all that fencing to have you go shopping for art supplies. If you're going to shop, you ought to shop for at least something for yourself. Hmm. Well, it's not going to be art supplies. It might be like a junk journal again or something. Oh. I like to purchase, I like to sell mine and purchase other people's because I like to have an art, a piece of art. What did I do? I totally did that wrong. Okay. But you get to talk. I know, I know. Oh, 
I tell you guys. I tell you guys. But I love this, and kind of making those clusters, I kept coming across kind of watercolory items. So I kind of wanted to incorporate, you know, that and do a journal like that. That's so pretty. I love that. Love, love, love. Eight and a half. Pay attention, Michelle. As Clint would say. Uh, okay, so this is going to be on the inside. I really like the pink. I think I'm going to go with the pink on the inside. So, hold it correctly. Yeah, so that's what we've been doing. But I bought all of Lindsay's courses and so I've been doing some watercolor and drawing. I think I just need to focus on one. Yeah. Because I was kind of like, my watercolor wasn't turning out today and, or maybe I just needed a break or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'll go ahead and keep those. So that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so we have the papers. Save your scraps if you're cutting them off. You could have like folded them up and then you would have like a pocket on the inside or the outside. I like to add my pockets um, separately. So, uh, now I don't have to cut anymore. We're just kind of, well, I might have to actually, but we're gonna put these in here. So, and I tried not to use the same papers, you know, for each of them. I like to kind of change things up. Uh-oh. This is taller than eight and a half. I forgot. This is like a cover of something. So, it's kind of like for a uh, resume cover or something like that. So what I'm going to do is just kind of put these in, no specific order to start with, and then when we add our watercolor pages, you know, I'll kind of rearrange them. Okay. This is funny because it says the dream of old one, and wasn't that one um, dreams? Yeah. Dream. <laughs> That's funny. So. <laughs> <laughs> really? Go away. <laughs> Go away. Uh, you guys. You guys. I'm glad you're spending your Mother's Day with us, even if it's just for a few minutes. I hope you guys are doing something special. Um, we're probably in the middle of a nap right about now. Yeah, probably. I've been waking up at 3 for some reason and not being able to go back to sleep and not taking naps. So, my friend Miko, she's like, how, how, do you, how are you getting all this stuff done? And I said, I quit taking my naps. But I only skipped it for two days, but still. <laughs> I could tell it. Oh, oh I had a good one. You had a good one today, huh? I was doing pretty good, and then I got really hungry because I just ate cereal for breakfast. I think I do want these. These are really pretty. They're a little bit brighter, huh? What do you think? Let's see. As a page in the journal? No? I think they're too bright. You think they're too bright in this one, too? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they are. But maybe I could just cut out like a butterfly or something. I don't know. We'll see. I was thinking they're too bright. As well. No. I don't think it's changing. Probably could, but, you know, white gesso or something. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to kind of go through this. Again, I'm going to use... I did pick out some. Here's my <coughs> pile of keep. Let's go through those first, and maybe I won't <coughs> need any more. Uh, when I'm doing a double signature, 
I don't like to fill them too much. If I'm doing like a traveler's notebook, which is a smaller size notebook, I put like 20 pages in that. Uh, if I'm doing a single, um, single signature, then, you know, I usually go about 20. If I'm doing like a double signature, maybe like 12 to 14 in each one. Um, I have done it where it has six six signatures and I did like six in each one so you kind of want to play with that I do try to keep them as even as possible so you know if I have five in this one I don't mind having six in this one but I try not to go any more than just one difference so this one's going to be my front page because I think when you open the journal and see this I think that's going to be really pretty so, let's see, I definitely want to keep this one because I want to do a digital on that. This one, though, is perfect for this journal. Huh? Ooh, yeah. Isn't that perfect? Yeah. Even though, I don't, I mean, it's pretty, I could do a digital on it, but you know what? It's not like, you know, this was just a fluke. <laughs> so, and then I'm just going to do, let's see, if I do six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So if I do six of each one of these, that will work. This one's pretty. I love that. Just the weight, you know, the one you want to show first. And I do want to incorporate some yellows because the cover has yellow. So let's do this one. I did already pick these out when we were going through the other day. See, do a yellowish for this one too. That one's pretty. I like that. And we do have some other ideas to, to make papers and stuff. We went out and got some stuff yesterday or this morning, I guess. Oh, hi. Paul. And uh, come here. Clint has a couple of techniques that he wants to try, so yeah, that'll be kind of fun. Shoot. Yeah, craft shoot. In the near future, yes. we haven't haven't done that today. Ooh, we'll do, do that the one. Tomorrow. I'm really excited about this. You are okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. So oh, Clint's video will be up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's just something he wants to try, and you have to try it when you have a certain amount of stuff. And uh, that was kind of purpley, which isn't bad. But I'm kind of saving them for my friend. This one has some yellow. That's kind of pretty. A junk journal is uh, whatever you want to put in there. When I first started doing junk journals, Clint hated that name because we were finding junk, you know, which was like antique, vintage, uh, old ledgers, things like that. And Clint just hated me calling it a junk it. journal. I still hate it. Because they are... Um, that was kind of fun. They're treasures. They're treasures, so they're more like a treasure, a treasure journal. But you know, it's just um, so convenient to call them a junk journal. It is, but they're not junk journals. They're treasure journals. They That's are the treasures. Idea. Yeah, they are treasures. That one's a little bit too bright. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that one though. Where was he at? Did you? I don't know where he was. So let's see what we can put in here. But I am incorporating a little bit of purple, a little bit of yellow, even though the original papers didn't have those colors in there, just because we did use it in the cover, and I don't mind doing that, so it's kind of like a rainbow type. Okay, so let's see if I have enough. If not, we'll go to the other set. And um, the spine will be about probably an inch and three quarters or so, depending on how long I make them. So, and what I like to do is just take your papers and kind of go, I like to have like interesting ones in between each, each item. That one's fun. I like that. I told my friend I was doing a, um, a watercolor journal and she's like, I've never heard of that. I had to explain, no, I'm doing papers for a watercolor journal. <laughs> I confused her. Sorry about that. Um, Lorette. She said, I think I've seen those, but I've never heard about them. No, it's nothing special. It's just 
<laughs> so just the colors, just and the the colors the instead of coffee dyed paper, because a lot of time people use coffee dyed papers or um, mm -hmm. tea dyed papers, things like that, more dirty looking. And I just wanted to do a bright and cheerful one, so that's what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one needs more papers, I think. I wish you guys could see Little Card now. He's a cutie, isn't he? He's upside down and I get him to rub his belt. <laughs> so that was what, 10? So I'm aiming for about 12, but one of them might have more. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's why I made my papers. Um, actually, I think that's further in the book. I don't know why. Um, created my papers. I paid for it though too. It was kind of like, oh, I can't move. <laughs> well, I was that went and I was outside yesterday making new blenders for yeah. two hours or something. That was, was that yesterday? I guess yeah, it was. Well, yeah, because we went down to the post office. And then I worked out yesterday. Yeah, so Clint's been busy, busy. I've just been chilling. Yeah, I have 30 blanks made and I have probably maybe six more to carve, I think, or something. Yeah, he's, he just has to, he's getting it to where he can, um, you know what, I want this one on the outside, where he can just carve and sand because it's outside right now and it's just so much easier. Yeah, so that does. He's, try, no he's trying to make a whole bunch of them yep. so that this next winter, you know, he's kind of... Just All he has to sand. do is sand, so maybe carve. So. Yeah, I want to fill one of those what, 30 gallon trash, trash cans, cans with the steel ink blenders. So we'll see. Uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, so I do have the same amount. Okay, so let's move to this next one. I really love this one, but I'm going to save that. That one. Ooh, that one's kind of pretty. Really soft. That would be a little bit of a change. These are my watercolor ones. The other ones were Distress Inks and Color Bursts. They kind of have a different little texture. I did put salt on these. You can kind of tell here, but it didn't work, you know, the greatest. I don't think I want the really bright green. This one will be a fun one <coughs> to put in there. So we'll put that one in that one. So I had ten in each one. So I need two more. That's pretty color. Isn't that pretty? I love the green. Well, that almost matches my fabric. What fabric? Oh! I didn't even think about that, but maybe I should put green in it then. Looks like it. Because I have two different greens. Yeah, we'll just throw a green in there. We'll mix things up. There is a little rip in this one, this page, but that doesn't bother me. Nope. It's just what it is. It is what it is. So, yeah, we'll do greens here. But you know what? That one might be too bright. Let's go a little bit lighter just to have it go blend in a little bit better. Well, I found, I have my coffee today, but I found uh, that New Orleans roast roasters that I buy. I they sent me a, a sample of their medium roast, and I tell you what, that is such good coffee, I ordered three bags. <laughs> We're trying to do more um, organic stuff. I mean, we do a lot of organic anyways, but, you know, better coffee, better for you coffee. It's good coffee. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that. So, let's put this one in here. I had ones that kind of felt like they're right side by side over right here. I'm just going to put this one here. And it's kind of fun to just um, put in different sizes and stuff. It kind of gives your journal some interest when you're flipping through there and stuff like that. So, I know, Clint got sunburned. He wasn't outside all that long. It's crazy. But we're really high here. We're almost 7,000. 
Yeah. Um, this one doesn't have as much interest to it, does it? I mean, it has a bunch of these really pretty papers. Um, I'm just going to have to have some side by side, I guess. There we go. Okay, so now if you wanted to, you could put in some um, envelopes or something, and I might do that. I do have some kind of watercolory looking envelopes, so that would be kind of cool to put in. So these are how it's going to look. But I, I know that I overfill my journals most of the time, and I want there to be enough room so that you can put your own decorations or pictures or whatever and not have it, you know, really gaping. So this is kind of what I start with. So we're going to set that aside, move these. And kind of start seeing what else we have to go in here. I do have my, like I said, my clusters. And let's see if there's anything in here that I want to use. I still have this. You're not ironing yet, are you? Right there. Oh, is it hot? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to set this aside to do for later because I never did finish that. So I might use that for a belly band. But I thought, you know, I made all these. I may as well use them. Yeah, for so. the tubes. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, my iron's on. So let's kind of go through. But this would work perfectly in the watercolor journal. Look, hun. Oh, yeah, I like that. It kind of has, like, uh, blues and stuff. So we have a belly band. I try to do, like, a belly band and a um, flip in each side. I need to send this to my friend. Ooh, look at this one. It's too bright, but that's really pretty. Oh, that is pretty. That one is too floral. Ooh, here's a pink one, though, and that would kind of go. I like that yeah, one, too. That would go good. Okay, so we have belly bands. But it's, it's real... Ooh, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> this one, hun, has a black yeah. color. Oh, that's perfect. I think I need the watercolor. We'll add something to it, but yeah. okay. Let me see if I have another one of those because you know, couldn't get more perfect than that. I don't think. And then we'll use kind of mix it up anyways. I suppose. Ooh, that one maybe instead of this one. That one is pretty. Cute. Which one, guys? Let's go with this one. That one will kind of shake it up. We'll go not so obvious. How's that? Okay, so we have the belly bands. Make sure there's nothing else in here I want to to go by. Oh, and I still need to sew on it and stuff. That's okay. But I'm doing this the belly bands now because I tend to sew them on. So it's nice to, yeah, I kind of forgot that's been a while since I made these. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing else that I prefer. But okay, there's one. So that's pretty cool. And then I have flips, so I'm gonna kinda go through, look at my flips, see if there's anything I want to use. And I'm also gonna think about pockets. Uh, cause you could sew in your pockets too, you know, if you wanted to. I'm just looking for fun watercolory colors that I think would go in really nice. I don't know, that one might, but. And it was really nice to have this, <laughs> this piece here. Ooh, that one might be fun. I don't know, what do you think? Mm. I like it. I mean, I probably would go. Maybe. We'll put it in the maybe pile. How's that? Yeah, I think so. But it's kind of, like I said, it's so nice to have these ready to go because then you don't have to take a break. You can just kind of um, look through them and have a big stash. This one would be fun. Yeah. Maybe. No? But it's kind of bright. It is bright. That's one of Okay, I already looked through here. Let's see what we have here. Can I find your back? Man. So I just anything, I think, because these little clusters would work as well. 
I didn't even get to sew. You didn't get to sew? Oh, no, I did get to sew. Ooh, this one maybe. Put that aside. Okay, buddy. There's a green one. Okay. That's not too bad. Looks kind of watercolory. Maybe that one. There's a lot of those. <laughs> They're just good. I like to have a choice if I can. Selection. It's Christmas. Ooh, that one's pretty too. Something like that. Let's see what else we have. I love that one. I know it doesn't go with the colors, but I love it. That one's kind of fun. What do you think of that? Not really. Yeah. No, Mine doesn't like it. No. I might, and you know, if I don't feel like they're going to go, I also have all those scraps and stuff that he was using, and we're going to make some things with the scraps, and I can make some clusters out of those. It's not it's like not I have to, instead, that way they kind of blend. Well, I do like it to go together. together, yeah. So we can do that too. Sorry. So yeah, so that's how I kind of get started and stuff. And then it's really nice to have these together. I'm going to leave that out so I can remember that while his um, thing is hot, his iron. And let's just kind of look here and just kind of see if any of these would, you know, would go. I think this one might. I think that would be really interesting. It's a little bright, but... I think it will go. I think it'll go to kind of kind of go in like here. Ooh, that'd be really pretty. Yeah, I think it'll go to here. And then it's just a, a belly band that's really you sew and then it's just a a belly band you sew top and bottom and then just mm -hmm. slide in something. Yeah. If you wanted to use it as like a side tuck, you could go here and just sew around or glue it down. So that's a yes, Clint says. Clint's my color person. This one, I think, I like is really that. pretty. That it's cool. really faint. And look, it would bring in the pink. I would also bring in this. And the color. blue from this page, though, too. So that's kind of. Yeah, that so I could put it up here as a. Um, you could use it as a fabric flip. You could put it as a pocket, whatever you want to do. So I like that one. So as somebody said, this is called auditioning. <laughs> <laughs> so you're auditioning your pieces. This one does have some flowers, which isn't a bad thing. No, not at all. Because we do have flower roses, you know, on the this piece. We do have some roses right there. So, you know, that might go in. But, you know, maybe like a blue piece. I don't like to cover up a lot of um, usable spots, so you can uh, draw or write or whatever. So we'll put that aside. The green, I'm not so sure about it, but I, since I have that one Let's green paper in here, that might be kind of cool. Actually, look at that. And then yeah. it actually has those exact like shades. Yeah. No, that's cool. <laughs> okay. I think we chose pretty well. This one is kind of soft watercolory like too, one, so I think that would go. I know I'm not looking in the other um, journal, but... Well, but your colors are similar, so... Yeah, exactly. And some of these, because I do have so many of these, I think I'm going to put paper clips on the back, and I'll show you guys how I make these into paper clips, because they're really nice to just tuck there, put a um, journaling card or something underneath, so that's really nice. Uh, see, I like this one. Oh, I like it. That looks really good. You know, or... That's a definite. You know, or even like on the blue to kind of correspond with the pink. Well, that matches this fabric really well. Exactly. So, so I think so. I think that would probably think go. And then this one, which I think that would go in here too, so... Yeah. So, I'm going to kind of plan on these kind of mess around and see what else I have. I have two belly bands, one fabric flip, so I'll probably create another fabric flip. Like I said, I kind of like to glue the, or uh, sew those in, which I probably could because this is pretty thin, and before we sew in our signatures. So, I think we're going to wrap this one up. Um, 
but yeah, that's just picking out the papers. And then tomorrow, I think Clint's going to yeah, I'm going do a craft to shoot, which will be on Monday. Monday. So, and then he's also doing working on finishing his the cover, cover, but I don't know if he's going to do a video on that or not. But probably not. We'll see. We have all kinds of exciting things coming up, right? Oh Lord, yeah. <laughs> You Thank guys are going to be all a flutter. All a flutter. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for visiting. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.